Man, all in the video. <laughs> This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry out loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. So we out here, I'm out here letting the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians know we the Israelites according to the Bible. Right? And we gotta we gotta repent and come back to the most high God because America finna be destroyed. The Bible said Babylon the Great is gonna be destroyed. So we gotta come back to the most high in these last days and keep his commandments. Let me get this, this preset right here. Uh, classic man this is the book of Revelation 18 and 2 and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying Babylon the great is falling it's become the habitation of devils so the bible speaking about America falling man we in the last days we got to come back to the Lord because the Lord is not playing no game he not coming back to just play pity pat and patty cake the Lord is coming back to the story people man and we got to come back to the Lord and keep his commandments he said, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of fornication. So the Bible letting you know that every nation have drunk of the wine of America. Everybody want to come over here and be an American, right? And the Most High God is sending his son to send judgment upon this place for the wickedness of his people, right? And he said, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out, come out of her, my people, that she be not partakers of her sins, that she receive not of her pledge. So the Most High God is letting us know to come out of America, right? If we don't come out of America, we're going to be destroyed, right? America is literally the downfall of our people, right? We have literally been brought over here as slaves on the transatlantic slave trade. We got our heritage ticket from us. We got our language ticket from us. We got, a, we got the white man's last name. We don't have no customs no more, right? The most high God finna send judgment to this place. You got men can be, you got men can be women in America. Men can be women in America. All type of madness going on. You got transgenders going on. That's against the most high God. The Most High God is going to send judgment for the wickedness of this place, man. Right? So let me get this preset right here, man. Let me get the book of uh, Sirach, man. Let me get, let me get, let me go in Sirach. Spirit moving. It's the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. So the Most High God is finna send destruction to America and the whole world, man. We can't get comfortable here in America. The Most High God is sending his prophets all throughout the world to send messages to the, to his, to the Israelites. We out here to wake the Israelites up, the black Latinos and Native Americans. We had to wake the Israelites up and tell the people to come and repent, right? Because if you don't repent and come back to the Lord, and you, you go, you go, his judgment gonna come. Right? You're going to be dead. So he said, for the sword and their destruction joined now. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hands. Right? So the Most High God is letting you know the things that's to come. Right? You're going to have nations rise against nations. Kingdom against kingdom. Right? You're going to have race wars going on. You're going to have then the military against the people. It's going. That's what's going on. That's what's going to happen in the time to come. If you don't, if you don't have the Most High God, if you're not keeping the commandments of the Most High God, you're going to get put to death. Right? I might be, and people might think I'm talking to myself out here, but I'm, I'm sending messages from the Most High God. The Most High God sent me out here to, to warn the people the things to come. So you can't say you didn't know when it went, when, excuse my language, when stuff hit the fan. I wasn't going to say it. For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions of standing their power. So you're going to have people rising up against the government, man. You're going to have the people standing up fighting against the government. You might People think it's a joke. People think it's all fun and games until it actually hit the fan when it ain't no food. Right? The Most High God said he's sending no food. Right? The Most High God said he's sending plagues. He's sending famine. He's sending destruction, man. The Most High God is not playing no type of game. Right? If you got a chance, opportunity to hear the word, you need to come hear the word. Because the Most High God, he said this in the book of Amos. Right? The Most High God said he's sending a, a famine, not just a famine of water and bread, but a famine of the word. Let me get that real quick, man. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8 and verse 11. Behold, the days come, says the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. 
So the Most High God, He's sending plagues. He's sending famines, man. And we know that already. But now in this particular context, it's talking about the famine of the word. And you're gonna have people really, you gonna hey, you're gonna have people running to find the word. You're gonna have people running to trying to find the Bible. Right? You might have that one Bible, and then everybody gonna find out that you got that Bible, and they're gonna be chasing you. They're gonna try to kill you to try to take this one Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be a family of the word. Cause people gonna realize that the things that these men with the fringes on, they, they know they try to make fun of, what they doing out there talking to themselves, they're gonna realize that the people, the men of the Lord, were telling the truth. And then they're going to start trying to get into the Bible and try to find out what's going to happen next. Or they're going to try to search, they're going to try to find us, the men of the Lord that was once out here, to try to tell them what's going to happen next. But we're not going to be out here. People are going to come to this same spot. You're going to have people come to this same exact spot while I'm sitting there right now and try to see if I'm here, but I'm not going to be here. You know, because the Most High God said we're going to be like pilgrims on this earth. Like, I could be in a FEMA camp. I could be dead. You know what I'm saying? I'm be on the run somewhere. So you got to get the word while you can, while everything kind of going smooth. Cause once, once you get that that uh that emergency on your phone when they say this is not a test, right? Once you start seeing the news, people freaking out. You start hearing about people trying to send nukes over here to America. Once you hear about it, ain't gonna be no food no more. Once you hearing about all these places that you go to to get your clothes and the things you need to survive. Once you feel out, like, once you realize all those things are dead, you can't go there no more. Now you every man for yourself, like the purge. That's when folks gonna start trying to re realize, oh, this real, this reality. But it's gonna be too late. Let me get that priest up. Let me get that priest up, man. All praise to the Most High, man. All praise to the, all praise to the Heavenly Father, man. We got, we got the understanding of this knowledge. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter one and verse twenty-six. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear is coming, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When, when distress and anguish come upon you. So the Most High God said, during that time of affliction, when things start getting tough, he going to laugh at a lot of people, man, because a lot of people had the opportunity to get the words of the Lord. But they ain't want the words of the Lord, right? They didn't want to hear the words of the Lord. They was, hey, I ain't got time for it. You know, I got to do something else. I got to go to this barbecue. I got to break the Sabbath. I got to smoke this blunt. I got to go have sex with this girl, right? But when people realize, hey, man, it's just real. When they realize, hey, this is not, a, hey, this, bro, this is, it's, when they realize it's going to be too late. So the Most High God going to send all these families and plagues, which I'm going to get, go back into when I read it. And he, the Most High God going to be laughing at people with calamities, man. He going to mock you when your fear coming because you had the opportunity. He going to replay this time in your mind of you saying, no, nah, you ain't got two minutes. Or you flicking off the prophets. Or you trying to fight the prophets. The Most High God going to replay that in your mind with Jacob's trouble kicking off. Right? When you hungry, when you starving to death, you ain't ate in about two weeks. You starving to death. You, you ain't had no water. Your kids crying. Your, kid, your wife looking at you to leave. But you ain't you can't do nothing. The most high God gonna laugh and he's gonna be like, that's what you get. Right? So he said, When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall you call upon me, but I will not answer. So the most high God said, Hey. You're going to have a lot of people call upon the Most High God, man. You know, people ain't really calling upon the Most High God right now unless they need something, right? The only time my people call upon the Lord is when they really need something, when the light's finna go out, you know, when somebody finna die in the family, when they need a favor. That's when, that's the only time we call upon the name of the Lord. But in that time when all hell break loose, when we in the end, when stuff hit the fan, you're going to have me, plenty of people call it on the name of the Lord, right? But the Most High God is not going to hear. The Most High God is going to laugh, right? He going to mock. Because you had the opportunity to listen to these words, but you didn't want to listen. And he said, uh, and they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they for that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. So the most high God said, Hey man, it's gonna be a punishment. He gonna mock you because you hated knowledge. You didn't you the most high God said, Hey, you got the men out here telling you the things that's coming. You got the men out here telling you the destruction coming to America. But we, our people hate knowledge, man. We don't want to hear the truth until it actually happens. We don't truly believe until it actually happens. And when it happens, it's going to be too late. Right? Hey, man, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. If you don't get the kingdom of heaven now, it's going to be too late. Hey, y'all, so you got two minutes in? Don't holler at me real quick. Where you see yourself on the sign right here? I think I talked to you before. Where you see yourself on, where you see yourself on the sign right here? On the top, so you will be from the tribe of Judah. Okay, so 
So according to the Bible, right, we would be the Israelites. I think I talked to you before. Yeah, yeah. yeah we would be the Israelites. So why I'm out here to warn the people and let our people know the things that's to come because the destruction is coming to America. You know, it's going to get bad out here real soon. All this stuff that people are doing out here, playing basketball, smoking weed, partying, all that stuff going to come to an end. So it's definitely time for us to get right with God. The time is now because when it, when it hit the fan, what I was just preaching about, when it hit the fan, it's going to be too late to, you know, get back, I mean, uh, build a relationship with God. So you young as well, and your brother young too. So when y'all have an opportunity to build a relationship with God, go ahead and do it. Let me get this, piece, this verse right here. Let me get this verse right here. How you doing, sis? You see yourself on this sign too? I asked her the same thing. Where you see your uh, your nationality? Judah, okay. Did y'all know? Two, two Judah, right? No. So. Come here. Did y'all know Jesus was a black man? Yeah. Yeah. How y'all know that? I didn't know that. They ain't know that. He knew that though. I didn't know that. He, I told him. I didn't know that. Let me let me let me let me show that real quick. Let me read that. It's in the Bible. Let me read it. He said, this Revelation 1 and 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible said Jesus got white woolly hair. Yeah, like he had the white hair. Yeah, he had hair like this. Yeah. 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 He had the red eye. He know, he knew. So this is why it's very important to know how Jesus looked because this is going to be the man that's going to come back and save us. A white man not going to come back and save us. We got to get that white man out, the, out of our mind with the blonde hair and blue eyes. He's not coming back. But a black man that look like us, he coming back to save people. And he also coming back to send destruction to a lot of people because we didn't listen to God. So let me get... Uh, coming back to, if you look at, if you go look at the story, it ain't real. No, it ain't. Because the Bible says he look like us. And let me show you what tribe Jesus come from because he come from the same tribe we come from. So we come from the tribe of Judah, and he come from the tribe of Judah. How he look? What what, how, what color would he be? Black. Let me let me show y'all that real quick, man. This book this book is y'all this book is y'all history book. Everybody in this Bible is y'all ancestors, but they want to take y'all heritage and whitewash everything. Huh? Now nah, really, the Most High God, you know, he he put he made the. He put the spirit on other people to write the book, you know, but let me get this, this Hebrews 7 and 14, where it is evidence that our Lord sprang out of Judah, a which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So our Lord Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shadow. He sprang out the same tribe we came out. But the white people, they don't want y'all to know that though. They're not going to tell y'all that y'all are Israelites. They're not going to tell y'all that. Look at this verse right here. Um, Y'all got any questions about the Bible that y'all want to know? What? Like any questions about the Bible y'all always wonder? About how anybody, what skin color? Because y'all see the real Jews are black. We the real Jews. What color was Adam? Adam, let me show you. Let me show you. Huh? Alright, this Genesis... Let me show you. This Genesis 2 and 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into the nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So the Bible said he created Adam and Eve from the dust of the ground. So what color is the dust of the ground? Like what Brown. color is the soil? Brown. Brown. So if he created Adam and Eve from the dust of the ground, what color was Adam and Eve? Brown. They looked like that. They was us. So that's why. See, they don't want y'all to know that. They're not going to tell y'all that in school when y'all go to history class, when y'all sit down and take history. Y'all want to learn about their history. They're going to tell y'all about Abraham Lincoln. They're going to tell y'all about uh, uh, who else? Abraham Lincoln, um, George Washington, Christopher Columbus. He didn't even discover America. How did he discover America when there was already people here? He was a murderer and a rapist. You know what I'm saying? They, he, was, he, was, he was a terrible man. But they're going to tell y'all that he was the greatest man to ever live. Yeah, he the first person to find America when we was already here. Y'all gotta think, man. We are the first. We are the original people. White people, just how they skin color. That's not. That's not normal for how they look. They can't. They can't. Yep. They say when they die, they turn black. They, they, 
Oh yeah, they they got to get buried faster than us because they are there. That's true. They they, they get they have to get buried faster than us because they'll start speaking to things like that. That's true though. That, they tell that's what they not gonna tell us who we is. They are gonna tell us that we just that we just African American, that we just niggas. But like I was saying earlier, we the original people. It, it's it's back then it was a it was it looked crazy to have skin like they got. They can't go in the sun. You go in the sun, you get burnt. You gotta put sunscreen on your skin. You know what I'm saying? You, you got, Got small lips. We don't gotta do that. White people need to take over. Yeah, exactly. And that's not a natural thing. But they they hate us, so they gonna tell us that. Oh, y'all ain't nothing. But really, we the greatest people on the face of the planet. Let me show y'all that. Let me show y'all that we the greatest people. Would y'all agree? Would y'all think that we the? Do y'all think we equal to everybody, or that we the greatest people on the on the face of the planet? I'm talking the greatest. They wanna be like us. They wanna dance like us. They want to hoop like us. They want to dress like us. They want to talk like us. They want to walk like us. You know? Hello. Let me get y'all something, man. This Deuteronomy 7 and 6, he said, For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen us to be a special people unto himself, above all people upon the face of the earth. So the most I got, he's telling us, he's telling us that we are a chosen people. We're not equal to everybody. They tell us that so we won't never think that we're better than them. But this is why we, I asked y'all, I asked y'all who y'all was on this sign. This is the reason why, because I want y'all to know who y'all is according to the Bible. Because we got to start calling ourselves black. Because we not the color of my pants. So why, we learned our colors in what, first grade? We know the difference between black and brown. And then African American, that 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 term is not even in the Bible. So why are we all here calling ourselves African American? Why are we calling ourselves Negro? These are the things we gotta ask ourselves. Why aren't we getting taught our history in school? You know what I'm saying? Why why do everybody hate us? You can't. Even, you go into a store, they looking at you. They think you're gonna steal something. They all they think we all they think black men is good at is rapping and selling dope and cheating. And cheating. Let, let me let me show you that. In, let me show you that. Let me show you that in the Bible real quick. The reason why, matter of fact, I'm 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 gonna start at the beginning. Not the whole. I'm not gonna read the whole Bible, but I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna prove to y'all that we the Israelites, and I'm gonna show y'all why we in the situation we in as a people. Because we would y'all say do black people do we live? Would y'all say do we live in the best conditions? No. We don't. We don't. Huh? They white folks do. Let me let me show you why it's like that. The Bible tell us, thank you. The Bible tell us why we in this situation. Now, I'm gonna give y'all a card. I'm gonna give y'all a card too when y'all here. I'm gonna grab one for y'all. Y'all need to come up here. Y'all can listen too, man. <laughs> let me show y'all why we in the condition we in as a people. This Deuteronomy 28 and 15. He said, <clears throat> he said, But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Bible, the most high God basically saying, We we made a covenant with God. We basically made a promise to God that we was gonna keep his commandments, that we was gonna keep all his commandments. But we didn't keep his commandments. We were disobedient. We started doing whatever we wanted to do. We lied to, we, we, we lied to God. So God basically said, if y'all don't keep my commandments, I'm going to send a punishment upon y'all for being disobedient. So I'm going to show y'all a few of these punishments to prove that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Because we're the only people that fit these punishments. Here go the first one. Cursed should I be in the city, and cursed should I be in the field. So God said, the Israelites, they're going to be cursed in the city. So what race of people would y'all say live the poorest in any city y'all go to? Black people. Black people. Literally, we live the hardest anywhere you go. It ain't even just in Nashville. You can go to you can go to any state out the country. We always gonna live the hardest because God is punishing us for being disobedient. We broke his commandments. And then he said, and cursed should I be in the field. What y'all know about history? What race of people was cursed in the field is picking cotton? Black people. Black people. We was. This Bible is talking about us. This is why in slavery, they didn't want y'all reading the Bible. If they caught us reading the Bible, they'll kill you. They'll cut your tongue out because they didn't want y'all to know this book is talking about y'all. We are kings and princesses of this earth, right? We're not just niggas. We're not just black. 
We're not just African American, black woman, black man. We are the Israelites, and the Israelites are the greatest people on the face of the planet. And he said, let me show y'all another one to prove this come out of. He said, verse 54, he said, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother. So this is another punishment. God said we're going to have an evil eye towards our brother. So what race of people would y'all say have an evil eye towards they same race of people? Not about that have it like that that basically hate each other as a people. Black. 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 Yeah, you don't hear about white on white crime or Asian on Asian crime, but you hear about black on black crime. Yeah. We the only people that make drill music. You don't hear white folks making drill music talking about killing each other. So why is it when we talk about we we we, we, um, we make music we talking about killing each other? Oh, I'm finna run down on him. I'm finna take his girl. That ain't cool. But they pushing that in the music because the Bible said that we're gonna have an evil eye towards our brother and towards our sisters. We the only we, our sister, we the only people that hate on each other. Oh, she thinks she look good with, with her uh, her braids in. He think he look cool with his Jordan. That nigga lame. He think he cool. He ain't. We the only people that do that because this Bible talking about us, man. We the people of the book. And he said, keep going. He said we're gonna have an evil eye towards our brother. And towards the wife of our book, to the wife of his bosom, and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. So the Bible said the man is also gonna have an evil eye towards his wife, and towards his child, which he shall leave the household. So what people is on on a high level is known for not having a dad in the household. Black people. Black people. A lot of us grew up without a dad in the household. Some of us did, but that's it's very few. But white folks, they have their dads. They don't gotta worry about that. They women don't got to work three or four jobs while our men out in the house. The Bible said this is going to happen. The Bible said, since y'all that keep my commandments, it's going to be single parent households. So we the, we the people of this book, man. So how, how did we come over here to America? What By what transportation? By what transportation? By boats and ships, right? Let me show you this. They promised us land, free land. Right. And all that. And then they used us. Yeah, the white folks, they, they are lie to you. They are stab you in the back. They'll tell you they're going to do something. They're going to tell you they're going to give you this amount of money or I give you this amount of land. But they'll stab you in the back. So, the, so they brought us over here on slave ship. And the Bible said that was going to happen. Check this out. He said, verse 68, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So let me show you what that word Egypt means real quick so y'all know. It ain't talking about physical Egypt. It's talking about, let me show you what it's talking about. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. No, 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 no. What that, what that is? Uh, what verse that is, man? Hold on. Let me get on my phone. Let me show y'all real quick what verse I'm talking about. I forgot what verse that was. Real quick. Real quick. Let Oh, Exodus 20 and 2. He said, And I am the Lord thy God, which shall brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So that word Egypt just means bondage, because we was in slavery under the Egyptians. Y'all ever heard of y'all ever heard of Moses? Mm -hmm. Moses was black. Moses was one of us. Moses came. Moses came from the tribe of Levi. Y'all see the chart. Most of us come from the most of us out here come from the tribe of Judah, which are, you know, you got the so-called black people. Moses came from the tribe of Levi, so he would be a, he was considered a more likely a so-called Haitian. So every time you look up Moses on any movie, a white man come up. That's not Moses. Moses had hair like us. He had skin like us. You know, he had a deep voice like us. You know, so the Bible said that word means bondage, because we was in bondage under the Egyptians. So let me reread that real quick. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and um, 68. He said, and the Lord shall bring thee into bondage again with ships. So this was spoke about in the Bible that we was going to come over here by transportation of a ship or a boat. It's because we didn't listen to God. And this is why, I was, this is why I'm out here preaching. The, he got me out here to let our people know how great we are. Because this world going to tell us that we nothing. This world, especially white folks, they're going to tell us that we nothing. They're going to always look at us like, like I said, we're going to steal something. They always look at us like we uh, little, little spicks. You know what I'm saying? But the Bible said that we the greatest people on the face of the planet. And Christ, which is a black man, what I got on this sign right here, I got this on the sign so people can see because we've been lied to for 400 years to say that he was a white man. Y'all 
Y'all was talking about it. Hey, all praises. That's man, and, and that's crazy because color only matters when it goes against him being. Uh, just say if you if you say that he, if you say that he a uh, once you say he a black man, that's when they say color don't matter. But it, it, when he was white, they ain't had nothing to say because they know they understand, and a, a lot of them know he black. But they're not gonna tell you that. A lot of them know, hey man, Jesus is a black man. But they ain't, they ain't gonna tell you that because they don't want you to wake up and realize, well, if Jesus is black, how his people look then? You know, it's a reason why we're in this condition. You know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, I just seen his, I said I just seen his uh his fan. It made me think about it. Fourth of July coming up, right? We, and during the time of Fourth of July, we was in slavery. We, so Fourth of July had nothing to do with us. And they tell us to celebrate America. Why Why do we celebrate the independence day of America? America have did nothing for our people. You know what I'm saying? We, we came over here as slaves. And like the sister said earlier, they promised us they was going to give us, you know, uh, 40 acres in the mule. They promised us that if, they, if we did all this work for them, they was going to give us something. They didn't give us nothing. You know what I'm saying? So they got, But they got us out here popping fireworks, eating, grilling for the 4th of July. And now 4th of July don't have nothing to do with us. We was in slavery. While they was getting their independence, Black folks was in slavery trying to figure out how they was going to eat. They were probably getting their back whipped by a whip while, while they were popping fireworks celebrating their Independence Day. Just like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was a day of a... They tell us Thanksgiving was a, is a day to just be thankful for family members. But if y'all look into Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving was a day of, of the genocide of the Native Americans when Christopher Columbus and them came over here and slaughtered about like 50 million Native American Indians. But they got us celebrating Thanksgiving. Then they give us Juneteenth, right? They say, okay, y'all, we're gonna give y'all a Juneteenth. Y'all was free. But we not, we are not free. You know what I'm saying? We, we are not free. Y'all gonna get when y'all get older, y'all gonna see when y'all start paying bills and y'all have to pay taxes, and when y'all gotta work nine to five. You say you got Do you like to work? Do you like to work or I do. If you didn't, let me ask y'all, if y'all, if y'all didn't have to work, would y'all work if y'all didn't have to work? Yeah. 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 I'm saying, if y'all had, just say y'all in the palace, right? And y'all ruling, y'all royalty. Would y'all want to work? Yep. If you in the, if you in the, <laughs> let me ask, let me ask. All right, just say you a king, right? And you got everything. You already got money and stuff. And you got people, you already set up in the high uh, statue. Like, would you still want to work if you didn't have to? If you, if you already have, if you can have people working for you? Yes. You still would want to work because you don't know what's going to happen later on in the future. But if you rich enough, you would have, like, just say, like, like how the white man had us. The white man had us working for him. He didn't have to worry about how he didn't have to worry about if that cotton gonna get picked or if things gonna be straight. He had to worry about that though. He would have had to worry about it for me. I ain't supposed to. Hey, hey, but that's true though. That's true. Would y'all would y'all say it was fair what happened to us as a people? No. Why y'all say no? You think we're supposed to be treated fairly? Yeah, he says he says something. What say that again? Say it again. Treat people how you No, he says something about the bill. He says something that's in the Bible. He said we should go back and get all the He said he said that we should he said the stuff they did to us, we should go back and do them. Now it's gonna come a time when, 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 see, people think Jesus is coming back. They think he's coming back just to hug everybody and give everybody kisses and give everybody a high five. He's when he come back, he come back to save people. And he also come back to kill people. Now the people, it, it's gonna be people burning. That's what I'm saying. People think it's a joke. That's why I'm out here to tell our people we gotta repent and come back to the Most High God. But the Israelites, the people that's on this sign right here, this is what I'm saying. If you're on this sign, man, you should pray to God every single day. If you're on this sign, because what people you don't see on this sign? You said, no, yeah, Caucasians. we on black people on here. We're Judah. Caucasians. You don't see Caucasians on here. You don't see Asians on here. You don't see Japanese people. You don't see East Indians. They ain't on here because they're not Israelites. So... They gotta go, they gonna go into slavery. Let me show y'all that in the Bible. Let me prove that. The people, the white folks that put us into slavery, they gonna go into slavery when Christ returns. They gonna be working for us. Same way we work for them picking cotton in the fields, it's the same way they're gonna work for us in the kingdom of heaven. Let me let me let me show y'all that real quick. 
worship. It ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't a sense of worship. But if you was a king or a princess in rulership and somebody stole you and sent you off, but you was originally a princess though, so the, he gonna put you back into your he gonna put you back into your state. Because if you if you a princess or a king, you gotta have people working for you because you're not gonna do it on your own. You a king. You a princess. You're not gonna go out there and do that hard labor and pick that and go out there and pick food up. You gonna have people doing it for it. And us kings, we gonna be. Let me let me get that real quick, man. And that's that's just judgment. Let me get this real quick. This Revelation 13 and 9. He said, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the Bible said, if you if you lead a group of people into slavery, you gotta you gotta go into slavery. It's only fair. So who led us into slavery? White people. So the Bible said, during their time, because they didn't they didn't get away with all they didn't get away with all this stuff. They think they got away with slavery. They think they got away with segregation. They didn't get away with that. God is just waiting on their time to come, and they gonna go into slavery. He said, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. So the Bible said, y'all, cause y'all believe in karma, right? Y'all ever heard of karma? What goes around comes around. Yeah, yeah. If you treat somebody wrong or unfairly, it's gonna come back to happen to you. That's that's what's gonna happen to them. They did that so wrong. They raped and they raped our men. It was a thing in slavery called butt breaking. They take the biggest, the white men take the biggest, strongest slave. And he'll put him in front of everybody. He'll bring his children, his wife, his family, and he'll sit there and rape him in front of everybody. Like so, on gay stuff. On gay stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? He would do that. He'll feed out babies to alligators. He'll, he'll have a he'll have a boy or a child, and he'll use them as gator bait. He'll yeah. put them on a little however he did it, and he'll use the child as alligator bait. They used to, it was a game called hit the nigger baby. They had a baby set up around. Y'all know that game when y'all go to the fair and. Y'all have a bar and y'all got to hit the thing, yeah, the hit the target. They was using black babies as them targets at the fair. They not, this is stuff they're not going to tell us in school, though. Because if they tell y'all if they tell y'all the real history about America, it show you how bad they treated us. And they don't want you to know that because they, they fear that y'all going gonna to get mad and start a rebellion. So they want you to think everything was good. That's why they only tell you about Abraham Lincoln. What Abraham, what Abraham Lincoln got to do with that? They say he's freedom. He freed it. And it was a re I can't remember the re he freed us. It was the reason why he did it though. It, it was to benefit him though. It wasn't to benefit us. To help him get votes, more votes. Something like that. Yeah, it was something like that. But they tell us about these people, so you can look at them and wow. If I knew this stuff I knew and when I was in school, I'd be in history class, man. I would be in there going crazy. I'd be like, so what about my people right here? What about these people? What where we at? Yeah. Cause, Cause we gotta be somewhere in history. They don't even teach us that in school, so either way it goes. It's they don't yeah. teach us that in school. But we gotta be we gotta be somewhere though. You need to pull your shirt down, we in church. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Um let, oh let me get let me get this verse real quick. Matter of fact, let me show y'all something. Cause let me ask y'all a question. He said he said something spiritual. So I say y'all princesses, right? Would y'all say y'all princesses? Mm -hmm. So with that with that being said, if y'all if y'all look at any uh royal movie or things like that. What do a princess have on? Dresses. Dresses, right? So, how we say how? That's what I'm saying. We gotta we gotta move like royalty, and they took our heritage from us. We don't know that though. How y'all know the difference between a woman bathroom and a man bathroom? Oh no, I'm talking about what? By the by the picture on the door. By the clothes. Well, if it. She got a dress. Y'all see that when y'all go to a public bathroom, you be like, if it don't have uh boys or girls bathroom, if it if it's just a picture. And y'all going there, y'all see, y'all be like, how did, what's the difference? How you know the difference? How you know which one the boy and which one the girl? Because the boy got the, uh, they got the pants Yeah, yeah, the boy got the pants. They got the pants Yeah, and the girl, how y'all doing? All right, how you doing? Good, good, good. And then the woman, she would have the dress. And if you watch Coming to America, that was our custom. You know what I'm saying? But when we came over to America, we lost everything. We lost our heritage. We lost our customs. We lost our languages. We lost everything. So now... As us being the Israelites, we got to come back and keep the Lord's commandments. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was just teaching them because, hey, Christ coming back real soon. He coming back real soon, you know? And, yes, ma'am. He coming back real soon. And I want to get this real quick. Um, yep. Y'all, I was just going to say, you're real or not. Y'all listen. Hold up. Y'all listen. Y'all listen. Y'all listen. What that, Jeremiah 17? Hold up. Let me, let me get, matter of fact, let me get that verse. Let me get that verse I was going to get. Um, 
Man, this, this for everybody. This for, man, hold up. Let me get, let me show y'all something. Cause, let me get this real quick, whatever. This, the, this Deuteronomy 22 and five. No, let me, let me, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question after I read this. The Bible said, the woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so is abomination unto the Lord thy God. So what is, what is a woman's, I mean, uh, what is a, hold up. What is a, what is a woman's garment? Like what is a woman, what did, no, like what is a woman supposed to wear? Like, like y'all said. Or, or yeah, or like a modest dress, right? So the Bible said a man ain't supposed to dress like no woman. So when y'all when y'all watch Tyler Perry, when he putting a dress on, making millions of dollars, he ain't supposed to do that. Make him a deer. He, he ain't supposed to deer. Yeah, he, he not supposed to. Y'all know this. Why they try to put the black men in dresses? Think about the commit the, the movies y'all don't watch. Black men be in dresses. It's barely it's barely rare that y'all see a white man get put in a dress. Like the dragon queen. Yeah, they put us in dresses because they they don't because they they, they fear us. Funny. They say it's, but think about it. Is it really funny though? No. Like, why why do a man gotta put a dress on to be funny? So and then the Bible said, uh, the woman that the woman should not wear which pertains unto a man. So, what do what do our women wear that men wear that we that men wear? Shorts, pants. Why, why think about it. Why is it a zipper on the? Y'all probably don't know why. What? On the pants. Why is it a zipper? Stick your little wheelie out your feet like that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Is <laughs> that's that's true though. And you know, do, so do they do they make women dresses? I mean, my bad, my bad. Do they make men dresses? No. They don't. So why why is it they make women pants? They got they, they make women pants. Okay, they make women pants because America, the white man, his job is to destroy us. So anything that's wrong, he gonna tell us is right. He gonna everything that everything just like eating pork. Y'all like pork. Y'all like pork, right? Uh -uh. Oh, bacon? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me let me let me get that. Let me get that real quick. Yeah, she knows, she knows. Let me let me get that. If you heartburn, then you can die. You can die. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, it's gonna affect once but you get we didn't older. know that. I'm gonna show you. Look, I want y'all to when y'all go home. Look, shellfish too. Cause look, let me show y'all that. And when y'all go home, it's a video of a woman, right? She got a um she got some pork chop on the plate. And she got some Pepsi, and she poured a Pepsi on, on, on the uh, Pepsi, and uh, term, not termites, but um, maggots. maggots started coming out. So that's the stuff that be inside that pork. Mm. And that's why they, that's all they fed us in slavery. Think about it. Is pig feet really food? Why are we no, eating the pig? Why are we eating pig feet? That's nasty. Why are we eating chitlins? That's the intestines of a pig. Oh, it's all crazy. That's, 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 that's slave food. Wait, it's true. Let, let, let me show you. Let me show you. I'm going to read. I'm going to read. Let me show you that. Let me show you. And it's good. No, I, I used to like it. But once you realize it ain't, it's killing us. Think about it. Anybody open a crab before and it was like yellow stuff in it? Yeah. You had to take it out. It's like the doo-doo. It's yeah. the doo-doo. Crabs are doo-doo. I mean, they eat doo-doo. They, they, they eat stuff at the bottom of the ocean. And they call um, sea roaches. Sea roaches. Y'all look at it. Y'all look at a shrimp. I mean, y'all look at a, a spider and look at a uh, lobster. They look similar. A lot in a roach and a uh, shrimp. They look similar. They in the same family. Let me show y'all that, man. This and this is why God told us certain foods we can and cannot eat because we royalty. We are li we literally come from our 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 brother is li literally Jesus Christ. We got the same blood as Jesus Christ. So he tell us certain foods we can't eat because if you eat certain foods, it'll it'll kill you. Let me get that real quick. Leviticus 11 and 7, and the swine, swine is another name for pig, and the swine, though he divide the hoof and be clubbing footed, yet he chew the cut, chew is not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass shall you not touch, they are unclean to you. So the Bible telling you, that pig, hey, that, you ain't even supposed to touch a dead pig. The Bible said, oh, don't even touch it when it's dead. So the, you ain't supposed to eat it, because a pig, y'all look into a I want y'all looking to a pig when y'all get home. A pig don't sweat. So, they dirty. They lay in mud. They sit in their own poop. They sit in their own poop. You ain't supposed to eat that in your, you ain't supposed to eat that. You can, you can, you can, hey, you can eat turkey. You don't have to eat. You should, she like said she like bacon. You can eat beef. You can't eat bacon because you can't eat 
Bacon. Ham. Yeah. That's I like pork. Bacon, bacon comes from pig. Bacon. Co yeah, you can get. You can. You can get. You can get turkey bacon. You get turkey. I mean turkey I don't sausage. Like with turkey. Or beef. You ever had lamb? No. Lamb good. Lamb is you can eat lamb. Lamb is okay. Lamb is good. Because I had goat. Goat good too. You can eat goat. So oh, yeah, goat pie. Pork pork is really like that's what's killing the black people. You ever heard people say I got high blood pressure? Yeah. They say it running the family. My great grandma had it. You said what? My grandma said that all the time. Y'all making my blood pressure high. Right. Do she eat pork? Yeah. She eat pork. <laughs> The reason why it's getting passed down from generation to generation in the black community is because of what we eating. You are not gonna get high blood pressure eat or or get diseases like that if you eating uh if you keeping these uh the dietary laws, if you keeping what the Lord said not to eat. We the reason why we get sick because we eating the stuff he told us not to eat. When you go to a seafood bar, what y'all know what y'all know gonna be on the table when y'all get there? Crabs. Crabs. Oh, that's that's the stuff he told us not to eat, but we eat it. Let me get it. We, I'm finna show y'all that. This, this, and this is in the Bible. This is in the Bible. This verse 9. He said, these shall you eat of, eat of all that's in the water. So now he's finna tell us the food that we can eat that's in the water. He said, whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters and the seas and the rivers, then shall you eat. So the Bible says, if y'all eat anything that come out of the water, it gotta have fins and scales. Fish. Certain fish, I know catfish, you can't eat catfish because they don't got scales. And they be at the bottom of the water eating everything just like crab. Slimy and stuff. Yeah, that's how they be. But if y'all eat anything that come out of the water, it gotta have fins and scales. So m m fish. Fish. Oh, we can eat that. Okay. Yeah, you can. Eat. It gotta have fins and scales. Make sure it got fins and also scales. Like bass. Like bass. You can eat bass. I be saying all the white people bass. Yeah, yeah. And they be catching my gas talking about. Oh my God, I got a nugget. I got a nugget. Yeah. Yeah, they be, they be, they be, they be saying. So would y'all say, could y'all, would y'all, could y'all start eating pork, shrimp, and lots for God? Yeah, we Could y'all do it? Well, for God. Let me, let me, let me show you something. You don't do it for God. I can do it. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't hard. Let me, let me get this real quick. Let me, let me show y'all what God said he gonna do to people. If I can't eat pork, I can't eat noodles, right? Huh? Yeah, I mean, what? don't eat the, uh, what noodles? They got, um, chicken. Chicken, chicken and beef good, but not the, not, the not shrimp. 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 Huh? Chicken good. I don't even buy shrimp. I like the chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't like top ramen. Now, top ramen nasty in the market. Let me show y'all what God said. The sister says she don't know. Let me get it for you. This first Corinthians 3 and 16, God said, uh, he said, Know ye not that you are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwell in you? So the spirit of God dwelling in all of us because we his chosen people. You know what I'm saying? He chose us. He didn't have to choose us, but he chose us, the Israelites, to be his chosen people. So he's he dwelling inside us right now. He said, if any man or woman defile their temple, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So the most high God say, hey, if, if you destroy your temple with smoke, y'all smoke. Yeah, they do. Be honest. She be honest. Got one. Be honest. I tried to tell him to stop. Huh? No, 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 look. It's all good. It's all good. Cause we all I every hey. It ain't it ain't too. It's all be honest. It's all look. It's not I'm not see what I'm doing, I'm not here to be like, oh you you wicked. You going you going my job is to let you know what because I, I didn't know what I was doing wrong. I didn't know I was in port was wrong. Let me show you. It's the fact that they say marijuana, like, God put on the plane. Yeah, yeah. The plane. Let me, let me, it helps you. They say it's prescription, too. Let me, let me show, see, let me show you what. Let me show you. And let me show you. Let me show you. And they say it helps your nerves. Let me show you. Now, the plant, the, the weed itself is not wrong. It's not bad. It's a, it's a plant. It's a herb. It's how you use it. Let me show you. Because, look, this Genesis 1 and 29, and God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the tree fruit of a tree you're in the seed, to you it shall be for meat. So it's really it's really made to be for for healing. Like this, like who's, one of y'all just said that you weed for healing, right? Or it's a cumulative. You can use it as medicine to heal you because you can put it in your tea, you know, to heal you. Yeah, it is. But but as far as you as far as you actually smoking it. 
that's when it becomes effective to your body. Cause would you? It can mess your lungs. It can mess your lungs up. You can like, 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 like you don't wanna smoke so many packs a day. Right. It can, and yeah, think about it. Hacks. When you high, yeah. you no, look. When you high, you paranoid. No, think about it. Then you won't know what's going on. You you looking. Then you want to eat everything. You got the munchies trying to eat everything. <laughs> And, um, all praise, all praise. And then they go home and just like hey. in school they say like if you keep smoking like it will mess your teeth up and stuff. It will. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Think of, I brush my teeth every day. But look, the thing about it though, it's how you use it though. It's how you use it. If you if you use it, if you smoking it, you mess. Think about it. If I threw a smoke bomb, in, if I mean, if y'all in y'all room, hurt and I threw a smoke bomb in y'all room, are y'all gonna hear the smoke, or y'all gonna be like, ah, I gotta get out? I gotta get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You think you gonna hell? No, no, cause you gonna end up in hell in it regardless. But you gonna try to get out the room though. Right. See that? Like on Fortnite, if you get on Fortnite and somebody throw a smoke bomb at you, you're gonna get out. Yeah. Yeah, and the Bible also say the Bible also say be sober, right? So when when you high, right? Think of, you ain't in your you are not you not in your really right state of mind when you high though. Are y'all in y'all right state of mind when y'all be high? As far as like y'all ain't really like how y'all be right now. But I'm not talking about yeah, people that smoke. No, no, I don't be like that. Y'all gonna be like y'all gonna be like y'all smoke if y'all smoke some of weed for four twenty. I know folk got high for four twenty. You probably losing your mind and then thinking somebody chasing you. Like, hey, what's going on? You be on that funny jump. Right? On that funny stuff. That's how you know. It's a demon. That's a demon. That's a demon. And weed, it ain't the only bad thing. Uh, cigarettes and shit. That's, that's oh, that. Can you cancel? They give you cancer. They give you cancer. So why they, why they, why they, why they sell us cigarettes? To give people cancer. They want you to kill. They want you to die. That's mine. And uh, emotional stuff. Like, that's, that's, that's why. They know. that. See, that, that show you that they hate you. Most of these, see, a lot of these stores, they made for us. So they want you, they want you to go in there and smoke cigarettes. They want you to go in there and, uh, and buy uh willow. They want y'all to smoke because they want y'all to kill, kill y'all. Like, like, um, mommy. mommy is crazy. Huh? I don't even have kids yet. Yeah, you talking about, you talking about, uh, lean? Let me show y'all this right here. <laughs> yeah, he's a drunk. He's a, he's a drunk worm, but he wasn't. He didn't get. You can't, you can't, you can't get drunk though. You can't get drunk. But you can drink. You can drink alcohol, but you just can't take get drunk to the point where. Do you know somebody that had? I know you. You can't like run to a shoe, right? Huh? Can you get drunk off the Nah, you ain't supposed to get drunk at all. You can get to. You can get to the point where you. He ain't supposed to be drinking anyway. I know, I know. But she did. She was drinking a lot of food. She choked it in there, didn't she? After my, 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 after Yeah, I remember mean, you said that, Granddad. I remember mean, you said that. Let me let me read you something, cause see what they let me let me get this. This Matthew seven and fourteen. He said, matter of fact, let me get it in the Bible, because you staying here. That that's that's spiritual. Let me show you. Let me show you all y'all. This the book of Matthew, chapter seven and verse thirteen. Enter ye at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be which go in the rift. So the Bible telling us, hey, to enter into that straight gate. Cause that wide gate is what everybody want to do. Everybody and their mama want to get high. Everybody and their mama want to get drunk. Everybody and their mama want to party and fornicate. That's that wide gate that everybody doing. But the hey, the Most High God said y'all enter into that straight gate. That straight gate is what not everybody want to do. Everybody don't want to read their Bible. Everybody don't want to um preach the word. Everybody don't want to change and repent. So the, the Bible said y'all walk that straight gate because he said, he said, because straight is the gate that, he said, because straight is that gate and narrow is the way which leadeth into life. And few there be that find it. So the Bible said, hey, that straight gate is that gate that leads to everlasting life. And only a few people find it. You might only have a few people repent for real. That's why, hey, a lot of people going to die. 
The Bible said two thirds of, of the Israelites are gonna die. A lot of people gonna get put to death. A lot of people y'all see in Nashville during that time when when uh, Christ returned, y'all ain't gonna see y'all. They, they gonna be dead. They gonna be eating each other. The Bible say the Bible says it's gonna be so bad people gonna be eating each other. Y'all ever seen the Walking Dead? Y'all watch that? I watched that last night. Zombie. Zombie. That's how folks gonna be. I don't watch it. You ain't watch it. That's how folks gonna no, be. If I watch it, I watch it in the middle of the night. Yeah, that hey, that, and, and they know they know that stuff gonna happen. Y'all ain't we ain't never seen nobody starve to death. But when that when stuff hit the fan, you gonna see a lot of people starve to death. And it's gonna be a lot of people that walk by here because a lot of people don't understand that. I'm not there, I'm not just out here. The most high God sent me out to warn people to let them know what's to come. And you have people that say they ain't got time for the Lord, or I'll come back later. They never come back. Or I gotta go do something more important. They never come back. So they're gonna be them, them same people that, that didn't want to listen to the Lord. It's gonna be the same people when them skies crack open, when y'all see when y'all see them them chariots in the sky coming down killing people. And the, man, the when that trumpet, that's why I blew uh this one, yeah, I got my trumpet right here. I blew it before Kim. Deep, it's called a shofar. You know, you had our men blew these on different reasons, but like, like war, war, or feast days. Oh yeah, we all seen Black Panther. They had one of these too. These are things that we use to blow. This gonna be something, it's gonna be way louder than this though. And when that sky crack open, that's when it's gonna be too late. So we got the chance to get right, man. Just get right for the most high God. Cause he said, he said, uh, he said, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which lead into life and few that be that find it. So like I said, only a few people is really able to find the most high God because we in darkness. You gotta think about it. We we getting distracted by, by we are getting tempted about everything. We getting tempted by women. We getting tempted by friends to say, let's go smoke. Oh, let's go get let's go get drunk. Then you getting tempted by somebody calling you, hey, let's go party. Then somebody telling you, then your grandma calling you, I just cook some pork chops. Come eat some pork chops at grandma's house. Then grandma telling you, hey, come celebrate, hey, I come celebrate Thanksgiving. So we getting tempted, we getting distracted by different things. We getting distracted by sports, by celebrities. People gotta worry about celebrity beef. Celebrity drama. So it's so many things in this world to distract us from the most high God. So that's why the most high God said if you it's only a few people that's gonna really be able to find him, because everybody else is gonna be lost and get destroyed. Um uh, let me get this in a second second. Let me get, let me show y'all this real quick for uh, what's that? Uh what's that second Ezra? Dang, what's that uh, oh, uh let me get this real quick. Oh this this second the second Ezra chapter seven in verse 59, for this is the, for this is the life where Moses spake unto the people which he lived, I mean, while he lived, saying, choose thee life that thou mayest live. So the Bible telling us, man, to choose life. All this stuff, we think we having fun. We think partying, drinking, clubbing. We think we having fun. But that's not what fun is. All this stuff is only temporary. Hey, when, once you die, your flesh go in the ground. All that stuff you did in your body, you gonna get judged for. So... Man, don't think that. Don't think that it's sweet. Y'all, anybody have any questions about the Bible or anything? Y'all want to know anything that's to come? Like any, the people, people always wonder like, what's gonna happen when Jesus returns? Like, how is gonna, how the world gonna look? It's gonna break down and destroy. Huh? It's gonna destroy and turn into curse. Well, the world, well, the world itself not gonna destroy, but America, this place, this physical, uh, uh, yeah, this place, America gonna be destroyed though. So, let me let me get y'all something real quick. Let me show y'all something. This second Ezra is fifteen and um, I mean second Ezra is sixteen and thirty and thirty-seven. Behold, the plague draw now and are not slack, as as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son within two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth they flatten at a moment. So the Most High God. He gonna send, he's sending plagues to America. Now you have different type of plagues. You can have, he gonna send 
plays as far as like famine. Y'all ever heard of y'all ever heard of famine? Y'all ever heard that word? Well, famine is like you being low on something. And it's gonna be low on food real soon. You're not gonna be able to go to Chick-fil-A or Zaxby's or KFC. Cause it's gonna be low on food. So the only way to be protected during this time is to come back to God and keep his commandments. That's why I was telling y'all about the pork, the shrimp, and lobster. That's a commandment to keep. And when you keeping that, that's you you keeping the you keeping one commandment. And I was saying about these, let me show y'all what these is, because these also a commandment. And that's why I said about, you know, the women wearing dresses. That's a commandment. So that's that's how that you getting closer and closer to, to being able to be saved when stuff hit the fan. So let me show y'all what these is, because I got them on. My real, she got, but she got the tassels on. But these the same thing. But let me show y'all what. Let me show y'all uh, what these called and why we wear them. Uh, Cause these are Christ. Christ wore these. He had these on the bottom of his, of his garment. These are called fringes. This number is fifteen and thirty-eight. He said, speaking to the children of Israel. So I'm speaking to y'all. We the children of Israel. So I'm speaking to y'all, telling y'all what God told me to tell y'all. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So these are called fringes. And the Bible said when you wear these, you got to make sure you got a ribbon of blue on them. That's why I got a, a ribbon of blue on mine. Because he, he said to get a ribbon of blue. Uh, he said, if, if, if it shall be unto you for a friend, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And that you seek not after your own hearts and your own eyes if you use to go a horn. So the reason why, you know, that we wear these is to remember to keep the commandments. So if I ever thinking about eating pork, or if I ever think about eating shrimp, I'll look down at my fringes and be like, man, I can't do that. I'm an Israelite. Huh? You say you feel good? Okay, you got a card? Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. We the Israelites, sis. We're gonna uh, we're gonna be here, we're gonna be here tomorrow at 5 32, so. Y'all come out here tomorrow at 5, so I'm going to have, Lord willing, I'm going to have some more brothers out here with me too, and we're going to be bringing the word out as well. So, just remember that we the Israelites, and y'all princesses, the sister princesses, and the brothers, we kings, man. You know, and we just got to keep these commandments. Let me get this through real quick. Let me show y'all when the Sabbath day is. <laughs> Y'all, so have y'all ever heard of the Sabbath day? All right, let me show y'all when the Sabbath day is, because that's a commandment. And that's a day that the Most High God, he want us to keep. Let me show y'all. Exodus 20 and 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Uh, thou, nor thy sons, nor thy daughters, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. So... The Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week. So let me ask you, when it when is the seventh day of the week? Yo, yeah, which, which is what? Nah, Saturday. 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 And I, I used to think Sunday was the first day of the week until I, I looked into it. Saturday is actually the seventh day of the week. And that's when the Sabbath starts. I mean, that's when the Sabbath is. It's Saturday. But let me show y'all when it starts, though. Because we, hey, we taught that a new day starts at 12 o'clock at night. When it's 12 o'clock, that's when it's going to be Saturday. But the Bible don't say that. The Bible says something else. Let me show you. This Genesis 1 and 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So the evening and the morning is when it's a new day. So when the sun go down, that's when it's a new day. Not at 12 o'clock at night. So we see when the, we see the sun going down. So when that sun go down, that's when it's going to be Saturday. And that's when the Sabbath day starts. So the Sabbath day starts Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's the day we're not supposed to do no work. You know how you have people, you know how you have people on Saturdays, they going out to the club, they working. You know, we're not supposed to work on the Sabbath day. That's a day that we're supposed to rest. It's only one day that we're supposed to rest and give the Lord our time. So he said that we're not supposed to work on that day. You know, really you're supposed to just relax, get in your Bible, or like I'm doing, coming out here to teach, saying in the word. So let me let me get let me show you, let me show you something else we can't do on the Sabbath day. Uh I'm going to ask y'all again when I see y'all, so make sure y'all remember this. I'm, I'm going to see. Um, this Exodus, chapter 16 and verse 23. So we can't work on the Sabbath day. It's Exodus 16 and 23. He said, and, the, and, and he said unto them, this is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto you. 
bait that which you would bait today and see it. Uh, wait, matter of fact, that didn't, that didn't what I want. Oh, what's this? Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well. He said, bait that which you will bait today and see it that you will see it and that which remains over lay up for you to be cut until morning. So, you got, like the Bible said, you got six days to get everything you got to get done. You got six days, but when that Sabbath day come on the seventh day, you can't, you can't cook. You can't cook at all. But you can eat, though. But you can't warm no food up or cook nothing in the stove or cook nothing in the oven. You know, but you can cook. I mean, you can not eat. Like, you can eat some sandwiches or eat some fruit or eat a uh, cereal or whatever y'all want to eat or if y'all prepare y'all food y'all can prepare the food before the sun go down like if y'all just say y'all just say y'all cook some or y'all mom cook some spaghetti y'all can um she prepared it see she can cook because the sun ain't down yet but once that sun go down she can't she can't cook no more but y'all can eat the food that she cooked because she was she had prepared it before the sabbath so y'all can prepare y'all food before the uh before the sabbath starts but once that Sabbath start, once that sun go down and it get dark, the Sabbath day start and we can't we can't cook or we can't work. It's something else we can't do real quick. The Lord just want he just want a he just want a few he want one day of our time. You know what I'm saying? He got we got. Just think about it. All throughout the the week we be busy with different stuff. You might have school. Uh, Y'all don't got jobs or nothing yet, but. You might have to do stuff for your parents and things like that. You might be always out playing sports and things like that. So the Lord said, man, the Sabbath day, I'm going to give y'all a day of rest. Because y'all working so hard, man. I'm going to give y'all a day of rest. So this is why he said um, he said that. So let me show y'all something else that we can't do on the Sabbath day. This is the last thing on the Sabbath day that we can't, we can't do. This, uh... This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. Nehemiah said this. He said, And if the people of the land bring well of any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we will leave the seventh year in the exhaustion of every day. So on the Sabbath day, right, you also can't buy or sell. You know how people be selling stuff on, on Saturday? They have a little tent. Or you may have people trying to go to the store and buy on the sabbath day we're not supposed to do that we're not supposed to buy sell work or cook but when that sun go back when that sun go down on saturday the sabbath day over with and you can start back cooking start back working start back buying but it's just one day from friday sundown to saturday sundown that's the day when he don't want you to be cooking working buying and selling but when saturday come and that sun go down y'all good so it ain't, it ain't really that hard man it ain't hard to it ain't really hard to please the Most High God. A lot of our people make it hard. You know, they think they gotta do go beyond and do all type of stuff for the Lord. It's simple. Just keep the commandments. Love your brother. So y'all, we gotta love each other. Love our sisters. We gotta protect our sisters. Uh, wear these fringes. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't hard, man. The Most High God. Let me get this. Um, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon you. So, we we not supposed to hate each other, you know. We are supposed to love each other. We supposed to we supposed to look after each other. If a, if a, if we see a, a if a white boy anybody come over and he see them picking on our sisters, we supposed to step in and be like, hey, you ain't finna do that. You ain't finna mess with them. Or if you if, if you see somebody messing with him, we supposed to step in and stop it. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's so love. We not supposed to be making drill music. We're not supposed to be going around killing each other or hating on each other. Cause that's against God. God gonna kill people for doing that. If you if you hate your brother in your heart and you hating on your brother or you talking about your brother, God gonna God gonna kill a lot of people for that. He don't care how old you is. He don't care if you're two. He, I mean, he don't care if you're ten. He don't care if you're twelve. He don't care if you're eighty. He don't care if you're sixty. If you ain't keeping these commandments and keep and being obedient to God, he gonna come back and kill you. That's why it's good to keep these commandments. You know, because when you keep the commandments, you protect it. God gonna look after you when you keep these commandments. It's gonna be like a shield around you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, any questions? About anything?
Y'all sure. So who who y'all lives according to the Bible? King. King, but what's the what's the name? I say y'all throw the eye. Y'all the is Israelite. Y'all the Israelite. So what do y'all mean what these called? Fringes. Fringes. Okay, okay. And you, you can get these from off Amazon, you can get these from off eBay. People sell them. So when is the Sabbath day? Friday, 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 any, well, anything, well, yeah, no pork or anything that come out of the water that don't have fins and scales. You, you got to have fins and scales for you to be able to eat it. If it don't got fins, like alligator, alligator, I used to, I used to eat alligator tail. I used to eat that. But it don't got fins, alligators don't got fins and scales, so I had to stop eating it. Some people eat squirrel. Squirrel don't got fins and scales. Well, that in the water. I mean, people use, people eat octopus. Octopus don't got fins and scales. People eat uh, uh, oysters. Horses don't got no fins and scales. You know what I'm saying? So even you guys just look into um, Leviticus 11. He give us a whole diet, certain meats that we can and can't eat. Like you can't eat no dogs, of course. You can't eat no cat. You can't eat no animals like that. You know, it, it talks about it in the Bible. But I just said pork and shrimp and lobster. Them, them the main things that we love to eat as a people. But them things, you know, ain't supposed to, we're not supposed to eat them. Cause God, gonna, God is real angry and upset about that but people people living it up people think it's okay oh it's okay i ain't dead yet but they don't understand they don't understand that god is going to send a judgment you know for the people that's doing that this is the last one and i'm gonna uh, let y'all go man and i'll be out here tomorrow at 5 30. lord willing but let me show y'all let me show y'all what god said he's gonna do to people that's eating pork it's isaiah 66 and i'm gonna start at 16. For by fire and by his sword with the Lord, I'm sorry, that 15, my bad. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. So Jesus, which his name is Yahweh Shai, he coming back with fire, though. So let's see what he going to do when he come back with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So he coming back, he coming back angry. The Lord is coming back mad. You're going to see a black man crack over that sky. He's going to come back mad. Let's see what he says. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, which is eating pork, and the abomination in their mouth shall be consumed together, says the Lord. So the Lord says if anybody coming, if, if anybody eating pork, when he open when he crack open that sky, he say he's gonna kill him. That's how serious it, that's how serious it is when we we're not supposed to eat pork. He said, when he crack open that sky, he killing everybody that's eating unclean food or doing uncleanness. You know, so just remember that, man. I gave y'all a card. I gave all y'all a card. Everybody got a card? Let me give y'all a card. My YouTube on that too. Y'all be on YouTube? Y'all get my, our YouTube on that too. Y'all listen to that. That video is going on YouTube too. Yeah, what's up? Y'all get as many as y'all want, man. But yeah, so y'all don't, don't got any questions? Okay, okay, so hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow at 5 30. Y'all want y'all wanna come back out here? Then we're gonna be out here doing the same thing, teaching the word. So y'all got it. Yeah, we're gonna be out here. Five thirty in the morning. No, no. Who would be out here at 530? No, man. Hey, that's too early. That's too early. No, nah, five thirty, uh five thirty is you know, yeah. yeah, man. So. Christ, Jesus is a black man too. Remember that. Don't let nobody tell y'all. He a white man. Cause they gonna they gonna try to show y'all that y'all gonna see that image of him being white in the church. Y'all gonna see that. They might tell y'all that at school. You might have your your, your, your what you say? They do. Your teacher might be a Christian, a Christian woman. See at the pictures of white Jesus hanging up so the whole class is seeing. See not be not white. He look like us, man. So yeah, man. Remember y'all Israelites from the tribe of Judah, man. Y'all come from the big dog tribe. Everybody can't say they come. Judah is the Judah is the big dog tribe. Well, that's the that's the main that's the leader tribe out of all these tribes. Judah is the big dog tribe because Yahweh Shai 
which his name, well, that's, what, that's what, who people call Jesus. His name, Yahweh Shai. He come from the tribe of Judah. So if we, come, he, we, we come from the same tribe he come from. So this is the big dog tribe. You got Benjamin, you got Levi, which is the Haitians, Simeon, the Dominicans, they are brothers and sisters. Zebulun, that's the uh, Guatemalans, the Panamanians, they are brothers as well. Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, they are brothers as well. Cuban from Manessa, they are brothers. Nefertali, Argentina to Chile, they are people. Ruben, Seminole Indians, Gad, North American Indians. So all these people is our people, man. We all the same people. people yeah. say Haitians, Haitians uh, they be killing the rapists. You say what? Some people say Haitians be killing the rapists. Well, they, well, a lot, just like us, they go through the same thing we go through. So, you know, you know how we kill, you know how we kill each other? They do the same thing in Haiti. They do the same thing in Jamaica. They do the same thing we doing. What's up? So, you know how, uh, like, I ain't saying, like, nothing, like, weird. Like, I ain't saying I don't like them. I'm saying, don't God, like, don't like when, like, gay people, like, then he, like, meant for boys, like, men to, like, like, get a girl. Man, let me show, let me show you that in the Bible. Yeah, 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 that's, that, that, let, that's, let me, good question, good question. Let me show you. It's a good question. Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 13, he said, um, if a man also lie with mankind as he lies with women, both them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. And their blood should be upon them. So yeah, God, like you said, no, nah, a man not supposed to be with a man. That's why he made a woman. A woman not supposed to be with a woman. That's why he made a man. But America, they're trying to norm. They're trying to make you think it's okay. That's why they putting that in cartoons now. You see kids with two dads in cartoons. So they they're trying to make you think it's okay. But the Bible say you're not supposed to do that. Hey, it was a time back in the uh, back in those times. They got put to death for that. If you got caught sleeping with the same sex, they would live, they they used to kill you for that. But now we have grace and mercy, so we can repent and change from that. But if those people don't change from that wicked lifestyle that they're doing, God gonna kill them for that. Because he, we're not supposed to be doing that. That's why people have AIDS and stuff like that, or people get HIV. That comes from that started with two men. You know what I'm saying? Doing that, doing that nasty stuff. We're not supposed to do that. So yeah, they have got they have pride month. You have, all you see on all you see on social media is they're trying to make you feel okay with being gay. Oh, it's okay to be gay. Be who you are. You was born that way. But God didn't say that. God said if you a man, you gotta be with a woman. If you a woman, you have to be with a man. Because if, if you a man and you being with a man, you can't have no children like that. So just imagine if everybody stop and be like, well, we all gonna be gay. We're gonna be, men gonna be with men and women gonna be with women. How are we gonna have kids? It won't be no more kids. Because a man and a woman, they, they, you know, they that's how you have kids. So they, that's what they're doing, man. So, yeah, we, we definitely ain't supposed to be doing that, man. So. Can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so my grandma told me that uh, Martin Luther King didn't die from a gunshot. They suffered from I Too bad. I don't know. That I heard about that, too. They might have did kill him. They might have did because... He started to, because Martin Luther King, his message was for everybody to be equal and the same. But then he started to realize, you know, that he put his, basically he put us in the position to to go through worse stuff. Because when you, when you, when you hanging with the white folk and drinking from their water fountain and drinking from their food, you giving them opportunities to stab you in the back. You giving them opportunities to hate you. So he realized that he had basically what he did. So he tried to change and start teaching a different message. But they ain't like that though. So I think they might have did kill him. They might have suffocated him because he was speaking the truth. He started trying to. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, my sister, she told me that um, Martin Luther King, he didn't die from a gunshot. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I feel like I was just, I was just looking at that yesterday. Um, I, I think they killed Michael Jackson though. They might, it's a, they kill a lot of our people when you come out and try to own something. Cause Michael Jackson was, he was owning, uh, Sonny, the uh, company Sonny, and they didn't like that though. So they had end up killing him, and they end up taking him back when he died. So, a lot of times they kill us, man. When you speak the truth or you trying to take, you trying to break, you, making money. Making, trying to make more money than them, or you taking business from them, they'll try to kill you. 
You said who? My grandma calls white people Guatemalans. Well, the, well, see, that's, it's a difference between the two, because you got Guatemalans uh, on this side right here. They from the tribe of Zebulon. Guatemalans, they kind of, they from the islands. You know, they, they look like, you have different shades of them, though, but they're not necessarily ca like white folks. They're not Caucasians or Europeans. They're not like them. But they are different shades. Just like you have Cubans. They may, Some Cubans may look like us, but you may have some Cubans look like kind of like white folks, but they still Cuban. So Guatemalans are mainly, they not, they not white. They kind of got Indian in them. They got Indian in them in a sense, you know what I'm saying? So they're not necessarily, you know, Caucasian. So they are people. Same thing they went through, same thing we went through, you know, so. Y'all any more questions? Y'all so, all right, y'all come out here at 5.30 tomorrow, man. We're gonna be out here. Come out here at 5.30. Y'all Israelites, man. Uh, God chosen people. Anybody ask y'all is? Because I'm an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, listen. Y'all be safe. I'll pray to the most high.